Hi, this is Nicholas Bell with Ion Cinema, and welcome to our list of the top 150 most anticipated foreign films of 2020. At number eight, we have Earwig, directed by Lucille Haji Halilovich. Uh, excuse me if I'm pronouncing her last name wrong. Uh, so, uh, Lucille Haji Halilovich uh, ranks so highly on our list, uh, the a French director, uh, thanks to uh, the reception of her last two films, uh, including 2004's Innocence, starring Marion Cotillard, and 2015's Evolution. Uh, both are uh, kind of bizarre films dealing with isolated communities of children being cultivated for mysterious reasons. Uh, Haji Halilovic, uh, of course, is uh, the, the partner of director Gaspar Noé. Uh, so she's developed her third film, Earwig, through Petite Films and Rook Films, produced by Andrew Stark, who is a producer for Ben Wheatley. He did uh, Sightseers and um, uh, Kill List, for instance, and also uh, produced by Jean, Jean de Forêt, uh, who produced Julie Ducorno's Raw. Uh, so, Earwig is based on a novella by Brian Catling, and uh, Haji Halilovich actually optioned the rights before it was even published uh, this past year, and I, uh, he's, of course, the British writer known for the epic fantasy trilogy, The Vor. Uh, it, it's, uh, she adapted it alongside Jeff Cox. It's set in 1930s Liege. A uh, 50-year-old uh, man named Albert uh, looks after a 12-year-old named Mia, uh, who lives uh, in an apartment uh, next door. He receives mysterious phone calls and has no physical contact with Mia, uh, except for the fact that he has to change her ice dentures by putting ice chips in her gums. Uh, he receives a mysterious phone call one day to travel with Mia to Paris, and they have just uh, acquired a black cat that Albert figures out to be the enemy, and that is basically the synopsis. Uh, it'll be Haji Halilovic's English debut, uh, and shoots in Belgium through uh, February through March, uh, so we predict that we would possibly see uh, her show up in Venice, potentially in the main competition. She won Best New Director in San Sebastian in 2004 for Innocence. Uh, she competed there again uh, in 2015 with Evolution, uh, which won a special jury prize. So if she doesn't show up in Venice, uh, San Sebastian is uh, a high probability as well. Thank you. Hey, this is Eric from MyOnCinema.com. If you want to support us, subscribe below. For more reviews, interviews, film festival coverage from Sundance, Cannes, Toronto, you want to check out these guys on this side.